You know, Psalm 119, verse 71, is one of the more challenging and biting of all the verses in the Psalms. We had it this morning for the 25th day of morning prayer. It is good for me that I have been afflicted, that I might learn your statutes. And the way that we do um, our, our morning prayer, how we say the Psalms, is that I'm always the one, as we alternate verse by verse, that's saying that verse, verse 71, it is good for me that I have been afflicted, that I might learn your statutes. And I remember that because every time that I am afflicted, either internally or externally, because I've done something stupid, now I'm paying the price for it, it's a reminder that this is a gift, this is a good thing, that I might have a chance to repent, to be renewed, to learn, to grow, and to uh, go deeper into the mystery of Jesus Christ. It's a very powerful and challenging verse. And in the gospel today, today's the feast of Saint, of Saint Louis of France, uh, 13th century king of France, who was saintly, pious, showed mercy. And in the gospel today, we have Jesus chastising the Pharisees again for focusing on the externals, but not the internal. He has that theme of it's not what goes in and what goes out. Today, he's saying you wash the outside of the cup, but you leave the inside of the cup nasty, basically saying the same thing. So I want to talk about Jerry Falwell Jr. for a second. Now, I've, I have no devotion to Jerry Falwell Jr., don't know him, haven't really followed him. Um, I used to wake up on the Sunday morning and hear his father on television because that was we only had two or three channels and that's what was on Sunday morning as we we're getting ready to go to church, the old time gospel hour. But in the eighties he was a, a pretty pretty um powerful figure. But of course I don't have to rehash the news yesterday and what's still emerging from him. Um and I think I think that the Christian response should be one of, of sadness that, that anyone has sort of fallen in this way, is they're sort of having this difficulty and this and this breakdown in their life. Uh, now granted, I don't think he's lived a life of profound humility. Sometimes when you when you're smug the way that he appears to have been, we we sort of rejoice a bit that you've got your comeuppance. Justice is when someone gets what is their due, and sometimes we may think this is justice coming upon him. And it may be, but the thing is the full scope of justice is God's purview, not ours. And we, I think, I believe, should hope that during this time, he and everyone else who is afflicted might learn and grow and be renewed. We should always hope for renewal and restoration of everybody and not rejoice in their downfall. And this is the thing, and hope they stay down there, never to get back up again. There's a cynicism that comes in us um, for lots of reasons where we build people up so they can fall. And the thing is, we want them to stay there. And that's not a Christian perspective. So he has been afflicted. And our hope should be not that he stays forever beat down because he deserves it, but that he might learn uh, and might learn the statutes of God. And the same goes for, for every single one of us. When we are afflicted today, we don't want to stay down. And we don't want others to hope that we stay down. But we hope that we may be renewed, we may repent, and come deeper into the knowledge and love of the Lord. And that's hard. That's hard for us. So... May we just dial it back again on everybody. That's not, Jerry Falwell Jr. is just who's on the news today. I mean, all the time. Is not rejoice in the downfall of others, but hope in their restoration, trust in the mercy of God, and pray for them.